Item number SCP-1977 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures When SCP-1977 is not being tested or communicated with, instances of SCP-1977-A are to be stored separately in polystyrene-lined, sequentially numbered plastic containers in standard bulk item storage. Instances of SCP-1977-A are fragile and should be handled with care. SCP-1977-B is to be kept in a weighted, opaque box and stored alongside the instance of SCP-1977-A. Communication with SCP-1977 is to be conducted with the instances of SCP-1977-A in a darkened room to allow for optimum picture contrast, and SCP-1977-B in a separate room exposed to a whiteboard. Testing personnel must be fluid in English and Portuguese. SCP-1977 has been taught a code language that eases communication efforts. As such, communication is to be conducted following the designated codebook. Testing and communication are to be filmed for archival purposes. SCP-1977 is an emotionally sensitive consciousness inhabiting 170 items. Henceforth, instances of SCP-1977-A and SCP-1977-B. SCP-1977 is not mobile or capable of audible speech. It has identified itself as a Portuguese astronomer who went missing in 1980. SCP-1977-A is a group of 169 screw-top glass mason jars of various sizes with stylized designs of wind on the sides. Each instance of SCP-1977-A contains a highly pressurized amount of dense, heavier-than-air red gas. This gas normally stays within the boundaries of the jars, even when the lid has been opened and replenishes itself as any is removed. When SCP-1977-A are physically arranged in one of six arrays, SCP-1977 is capable of swirling the gas such that each instance of SCP-1977-A reflects ambient light with variable brightness. This effect can occur regardless of the light level of its surroundings. The patterns of light that are produced display a monochrome red close-up of a human face, or portions thereof. SCP-1977 communicates by silently mouthing words in a combination of English and Portuguese. SCP-1977's emotional state depends on in which array SCP-1977-A have been arranged, so communication attempts are not always completely intelligible. SCP-1977 usually prefers discussing events that took place in Europe between 1949 and 1980, as well as its career as an astronomer. Recently, however, it has displayed interest in modern astronomical findings and has requested access to back issues of astronomical magazines and journals. The request is pending approval. SCP-1977-B is a single disembodied human eyeball with a brown iris and a severed optic nerve which trails behind it. It does not decay or become damaged and seems to still be living. SCP-1977-B is not affected by gravity. It behaves as though it were in a zero-g environment, although it cannot produce thrust of its own. SCP-1977 is able to observe its surroundings through SCP-1977-B. It reacts immediately, regardless of distance, to objects or communication presented to it. SCP-1977 is capable of reading lips through SCP-1977-B and has perfect vision. DNA samples from SCP-1977-B have been found to be a match for The lid of each instance of SCP-1977-A has an embedded, non-functional solar panel, the surface of which is micro-engraved with six designs. Each design consists of a simple depiction of a human face in one of six emotions. Happiness, sadness, anger, fear, disgust, and surprise, surrounded by a diagram of varying shape composed of 169 dots. The underside of each lid is micro-engraved with a simple depiction of the planet Jupiter. Addendum 01 The red gas contained in each instance of SCP-1977-A has been found to match the atmosphere of the planet Jupiter exactly according to spectroscopic analysis. Its red coloration at such low volumes may be explained by its density, which is roughly 25 times that of the atmosphere of Earth at sea level. Addendum 02 SCP-1977-B was shown a photograph of the planet Jupiter which had been taken during the Voyager missions. 
The gas within SCP-1977-A turned silvery-gray and began giving off electrical sparks. This continued until the picture was removed from SCP-1977-B's line of sight. SCP-1977 then resumed attempting to communicate as though the incident had not occurred, and appeared to be entirely unaware of the occurrence.